Hi folks, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been about two years since my last video, and quite a bit has happened in that time. At the time of recording this video, I'm about to embark on my third British adventure, the previous two having been failures. Although, I don't like to refer to them as failures, because I believe you only fail when you stop trying. So I would much rather refer to them as unsuccessful attempts. Gathering intelligence for the successful attempt that's going to follow. You know, someone said, and I can't recall who exactly, that the secret to life is to get up just one more time than you fall down. Sound advice, isn't it? If you think about it, it's all it takes. If you get up one more time than you fall down, then the end result is you standing. All it takes is one successful attempt. It doesn't matter if it follows ten unsuccessful ones, as long as it follows them. But anyway. This is going to be my third attempt at fulfilling my lifelong dream of moving to an English-speaking country like I talked about in my previous videos. And by the way, enjoy a bit of scenery from my hometown while you're listening. Let's start with a recap of these past two years since my last video. In 2020, in the height of the Covid pandemic, I went to England for the first time. Not the best time to travel, but I needed to go because of a complicated matter called Brexit. Basically, everyone who wished to remain in the UK after Brexit had to have been present in the country prior to Brexit Day, which was December 31st, 2020. So you see, I had to go, even if just for a day. But thanks to this, I'm able to go back now, even though Britain isn't an EU member anymore. There was also a new uh, development in the EU settlement scheme with the High Court of England, but I'd like to talk about that in another video. Now, in hindsight, I was extremely naive and unprepared on that excursion, because I chose a tactic that ended up being a total disaster, and that made me have to return home after just two weeks in the UK. I basically picked a city, flown there, and then just kind of expected everything else to work out. That's not how life works though, is it? Turns out, it's not that easy to just go to a country you've never visited, and then get a job, an apartment, and settle in. Who would have thought? No worries, I thought. There's always next year. So then next year rolls around, I'm thinking, I need a new plan. I decided that I was going to go sooner this time. I figured I went after the kids had graduated school. So maybe they were taking all the jobs I could have had. So I ended up going in May. And also ended up making the exact same mistakes, just a little sooner this time. What I didn't realize at the time was that the date of my travel wasn't the issue. At least not the only, or indeed the main problem. The only thing I changed was the date, not the destination, not the preparation, not anything that would have actually made a difference. You know what they say, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And uh, while I'm not insane, or at least I don't think I am, I did make uh, the insane person's mistake. Thing is, uh, even though I was certainly unprepared and naive, there's a chance I could have still done it, but I made another fatal mistake. I was basically uh, treating these trips as vacation. I was pretty much acting like a tourist. 
like someone who's on a sightseeing tour, not on a job search. It's all history now, though. At least I had the chance to learn what not to do. Two chances, in fact. Tomorrow is always a new day, a new chance, a new opportunity to make you right. So I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take all of you with me. If you'll join me, that is. And even if no one does, at least I'll have something to look back on when I do actually make it. What's the plan this time then? Well, I'm glad you didn't ask. This time, I'm going to flip the plan on its head. Instead of picking a town, going there and looking for a job, I'm going to look for a job, pick the city based on that, and then go there. I'm basically going to move to wherever the job is. I'm going to go on the internet from Slovakia, apply to everything I can apply to, and then when I get a job interview or an offer, then I'm going to book the flight. Now, it's going to be a heck of a lot more expensive and stressful, because I'm going to have to book everything last minute. But I think it's better to be stressed and strapped, but have a job to go to, than the alternative and come back unsuccessful again. So that's the plan. I'm going to have to figure out some details, like my trip to the airport itself, if it's last minute notice, I might not be able to secure a lift, I might have to rely on public transport. But uh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, I guess. I'll figure out everything in these next two months. But uh, that's my plan for this summer. It's a plan that I think has the biggest chance of uh, working out out of my plan so far. And it's the one I'm sticking with for this summer. Thanks for hearing me out. See you next time. Good day.